FTX's Bahamas unit commingled client, corporate funds, liquidators say FTX Digital had bank accounts with a balance of $219 million, a report by PricewaterhouseCoopers staffers said. Join the most important conversation in crypto and Web3 taking place in Austin, Texas, April 26 to 28. Secure your seat. Join the most important conversation in crypto and Web3 taking place in Austin, Texas, April 26 to 28. Secure your seat. FTX Digital Markets Limited, the Bahamas arm of the collapsed crypto exchange, appears to have commingled corporate funds with client money. Liquidators said in a February 8 document filed in a local court. The comments made in the accounting report echo those from John J. Ray III, the new boss of FTX's U.S. entity, who has repeatedly lamented a lack of corporate controls at the company before he took over on November 11. It appears that client monies have been commingled such that it may not be possible to clearly identify sums that constitute client monies as opposed to general corporate funds, said the document authored by Lennox Payton's Brian Sims and PWC's Kevin Cambridge and Peter Greaves. The trio were jointly appointed by a Bahamas court as liquidators on November 10 and 14 last year. Bank balances of $137 million labeled as for the benefit of FTX Digital's customers were subject to only limited controls and governance, meaning, in practice, they weren't segregated. The report said dot of the $219.5 million total balance FTX Digital held in banks, $21.5 million has been realized by the liquidators, and a further $54.5 million is pending transfer to follow the URL for the full article. For more on this story, visit the news article link.